No. They just don't get it. They think it has to be in everything. Everybody, because of social media, everybody feels like they're fighting some sort of social battle with everything they do. And, yeah. you know, and this is one, this is another one. It's like, it's like forced compliance. You have to, you're forced to comply with this. And, you know, it's fucking up women's sports in a huge way, in a huge way. And, you know, some organizations are, are pushing back against that. And some people are pushing back against the organizations that are pushing back against it, which to me is insane. Like, if you care at all about biological women, you should be against that. Without it, I mean, what if, like, LeBron said he wanted to play in the WNBA? <laughs> like, I'm retiring from the NBA because I'm 49 and I'm going to play in the WNBA. <sighs> Well, they wouldn't be able to stop it if he just decided to say publicly, I identify as a woman. What are they going to do? They can't do anything. And then that would be the end. <laughs> that would be, Dave Chappelle is a bit about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron scores 100 again tonight. Well, there was some fucking knucklehead that was getting an interview. They said if Mike Tyson identified as a woman, should he be able to fight women? And they were like, well, the short answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, it's okay. So, and there's also different specifications. It's like what you have to do and how long you have to take hormones before you can identify as a woman and compete as a woman. Like, just fucking stop. I mean, who's gonna check all that? Yeah, there's a reason why there's women's sports, and yes. there's a reason why there's men's sports. And it's you're not talking about who who you are, or what your truth is. Live your truth. I mean, Title IX just got, you know, what just turned what. 30 or yeah something like that you know what i mean so protecting women's sports yeah yeah and, which is which is great because it forces schools and you know they make a lot of money you know in <laughs> teaching whatever they teach in them schools and they should carve out some for women to be able to play for their school you know that's great and um so i don't understand what, you know, sometimes things don't make crazy man sense. And when they, when they don't make crazy man sense, I just back out. <laughs> <laughs> I just stop thinking about it. Yeah, it's probably a good move because yeah. you're not going to solve it. No. I mean, if people are, I think ultimately it gets solved where people just don't accept it anymore. And then hopefully it'll go. I mean, maybe they could just develop a transgender league where trans people play against yeah. trans people. That would be great. Why not? But you can't pretend that you're a biological female just because you wish you were. Like, you can't pretend when it comes to women's sports. You can't pretend when it comes to women's rights issues. It's like, like that's not, this, 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 you don't want men dominating that because that's what it yeah. is. It's men entering to women's spaces. Yeah. And whether they're ultimately, they identify as a woman, that's great. But you physically, you're a biological and, male. And, and, yeah, yeah. And you want to compete against them? You want to play rugby against women? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. No, they want to dominate. They want to dominate. There's a lot of that. They want to dominate. They want to be winners. Yeah. Yeah. If all of a sudden you can be a woman and a winner and just fucking kick everybody's ass. Yeah. You know how you used to, like, play the kids in basketball? Like, they ate. You know, mm -hmm. Shaq out there. <laughs> 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 you just Shaq. Yeah. You know, like. Is the ultimate sandbagging, you know? It's like, you know you have a giant advantage. Like, the the one that drove me the craziest was the MMA fighter. Yeah. Because that person became a woman for two years and then started competing as women and not telling them and saying it was a medical issue. It's, I don't have to disclose a medical condition. Like, no, 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 no. That's not what that is. Wow. Like, if, you, if, they, if that person said that they were a woman and, and competed against women, that's deception. That's a fucking lie. But if you said you're a biological male and the women still want to fight you, okay, all good. Yeah, you know, um, it's tricky, man. It's like a slippery slope. Yeah. You know, that really starts to get bizarre after a while, you know, because where does it, where does it um, actually end at the end of the day, you know? Like, yeah. What if somebody say, I don't, I don't identify as black. I want to be another color. Yeah. Purple. I'm purple. <laughs> what, you laughing at me? You can get purple. You laughing at me? I'm going to cancel your ass. You laughing at me because I'm purple? Yeah. <laughs> That's basically. Yeah. Well, we, you know, you might as well, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm macaroni and cheese. I'm rice. I'm, I'm, I'm the rolls. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a chicken dinner man. It's yeah. I identify as. There's people identify as younger people. It's, it's like the whole. It is a slippery slope. Yeah, because yeah. people can. You know, people always can be extreme with stuff like that. They're extreme with that, and they keep pushing boundaries, and they're pushing boundaries on the age of consent now, which is crazy. You know, there's um, there's people that are also pushing back against p calling people pedophiles. They're nah. saying you should call them minor attracted persons. Man, come on. It's insane. I mean, you're getting yeah. academics that are saying this. It's this, insane. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's borderline madness. So I'm, we're almost there. Yeah, well, it's the end of an empire. Yes. And, you know, there's this guy, Douglas Murray. He's this English, uh, British intellectual. And he said that every time uh, a civilization is close to collapsing, they become obsessed with gender. It happened with the ancient Greeks, with the Romans. It's just mm -hmm. like it's some weird thing that happens when everything is just going too good and life is too easy. People get obsessed with the, the weirdest things. And now we're obsessed with gender. Wow. Well, it's the beginning of the stay end. Stay tuned. Yeah, who knows? I mean, maybe we'll bounce back. You know? Get a good president in there. You know? Turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I, don't, so. I don't put a lot on the president. <laughs> Not this I don't one. put a lot on the president. Well, for sure. I wonder what would happen if Robert Kennedy Jr. got in there. Very interested to see what happens with that guy. Yeah, you know he's, uh, you know he's he seemed like a guy who, at least, is down to deep dive. Yeah, and talk real and and you know, really try to dissect what's really going on instead of just going with the herd, um, which would be easy for him to do, like go yeah. with the herd, you know. He may be, you know, even ahead more, in the, um, or he may even be doing better, you know, when, when they poll, I think he's like 20% of the people or something. But yeah, he'd probably be doing better. Probably be doing better, and, you know, instead of, you know, maybe he'll be one of they one of they guys, and so by him going this route, it's uh, seems like he's on a more noble route, and we just check him out and see how he navigates some of this stuff. 